Aloha friends and family, how you wonderful beautiful people doing today? I am on my way to Freedom Breeder and riding my freaking one wheel in the rain. Yes, oh it's mud. It's mud. Yeah, we, we get we back, get back on the horse. I know I ate it on my one wheel, I've been re rehabilitating myself from doing it, but we are the type of folks that we get right back on the horse around here. Uh, yeah, we fell off the horse a lot too. <laughs> Those of you that attended the reptile show in Anaheim may have been disappointed to see that Jimmy was not wearing the toupee that I got him because I forgot to bring it. Nobody was more disappointed than me in myself that I forgot to bring that toupee. Uh, I did make him a beautiful toupee out of Spanish moss that I thought was glorious, but he was disappointed in that toupee, so he didn't wear it for the whole show. But at least you guys got to see it on the video just in case you didn't get to see him doing that in person. However, I did bring with me the toupee. So we're gonna put it on Jimmy's head. We'll see what we all missed in Anaheim and we'll all get to see it right here on this video. Also, while I'm in Freedom Breeder, I'm gonna go ahead and poke around, see if I can find some snakes that are really amazing. Clearly it's raining right now out here, so which means I just had Hillary pay up a pair of a few snakes at home. If for some reason I'm not impressed with the stuff I see here at Freedom Breeder today, I will take you guys back home with me. We'll check out the different pairings I've got going on and see if we got some locks from this nice, beautiful, rainy California weather. Also, Jimmy told me he has a good joke for me, so I'm gonna make sure I film it because he said it's gonna be a good one. And make sure you guys stick around for that and see how good it is. Woo, buddy. Don't work too hard out there, Don. No, it's not for you, it's not for you, it's not for you. Get out of here. This guy actually working here today. Huh? You're working. What's this? Why is there a pantyhose in here? It's to keep oh. the other hair down underneath the wig. Yeah, see how that works. You just changed races. True. A little hair. I think you're putting it on backwards. It clips in the front? I don't I don't know. No, no, maybe you got it right. <laughs> I don't think you need the pantyhose, or you gotta pull the pantyhose back a little bit. Pull the pantyhose back? Yeah, because you can see it underneath the wig. I look like the shaggy dog. How do you know what you look like? Well you only brought it a week late. No biggie. <laughs> you can still wear it like at the next show. You can wear Vegas this weekend. Yeah. Comment down below if you think Jamie should wear this to Vegas all weekend this weekend. What do you think people are gonna vote? Oh, I already know what they're gonna vote. All right, I know I showed you guys the snake before. I wanna show you again though. Possible super orange dream, calico chocolate, possible yelly belly, yelly belly, possible fire. I mean, there's something about this snake, man. It's just amazingly beautiful. Those oranges are just, and the, the pattern, it just, I, this snake is awesome. I, I really feel like I might have to commit some thievery here and bring this thing home with me. I'm not going to do that, but man, man, this snake makes me, almost makes me a dishonest person. It really does. And I, I don't have like, I don't have any of these genes at all. So... I'd be getting all of them in one snake. It's just not right though. Just not right. Feisty little bugger too. <laughs> he's ready. Ooh, look at that. Oh, he's on it. There you go. That's how you do it. This is another one of those ones that make me feel like I should become a thief and just steal this snake man this is her sister just the pastel inchi clown without the bamboo but she turned out phenomenal too man look at look at that look at that snake look at that head stamp dude that thing that thing is whoa sorry about that don't worry it was only like a inch and a half fall into some nice soft cocoa that was embarrassing though Man, she looks good.
did just occur to me that you guys have not seen my snakes at home in quite some time actually, which is ridiculous. I mean, I see the snakes every day, so I'm used to seeing them, I guess, but I don't think about the fact that you guys don't get to see them all the time. So let's go back to my house. We'll see, see if we got any locks up there and you guys see some of the breedings we got going on. Noah Sage? Hello. Oh, man. That's a long trip, dude. How you doing, Turd Nugget? Good. You're the <laughs> Turd Nugget. <laughs> I heard Mommy was down here putting some snakes to breed while I was out. Were you here when she was putting the snakes together to breed? I was, I was watching her a little. Oh, you were? Did yeah. you, you think she did a good job? Yeah. Okay, do so you think if we go and search through there that We'll find snakes that are breeding? Yeah. Alright, let's give it a go then. First let's feed rock sand. Oh, we gotta wait for her rat to thaw out. Oh, that's a long trip. Long trip. We're gonna let Noah feed rock sand a rat. Don't forget about Jimmy's joke. I haven't forgot about it. Actually, let me ask you guys the joke real quick and see if you guys can guess in the comments down below before we get the, the answer to the, to the joke. Okay, the question is, how do you sell chicken to a deaf guy? Or girl? Kill it and roast it. <laughs> okay. All right. So first girl on the list is Dot, and she's potentially breeding with Ricky. And nothing. No luck. So sad. Okay. Let's check on Maya here. Maya was next. Going with the king. Ooh, jostling stuff around. Um, he's working on it. He's working on it, but we're not quite there yet. It's not raining outside you anymore. Have, you have more, more female snakes than girls. What? All right, so we're far over, over two on the locks, but to be fair, I've seen those pairs lock up before. But now we got Candice and Bruce, who have definitely done some some work in the past. But, oh, they're just, they're just like, no, thank you. Gosh, guys, 0 for 3. We're really striking out today. And we got Cindy. Come on, Cindy. Come on, guys. Don't let us down now. Oh, yes! This is probably going to be the most exciting lock two. The, what, what is produced from this pairing should be some really incredible stuff. We got a nice lock in there. That's looking nice and tight. Oh yeah, that, those are gonna be some gorgeous snakes time comes, guys. Oof, yeah. Then we got Charlotte. This is her first year working on stuff. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he's trying super hard and I just messed them all up. It's all right, go back to it, guys. Go back to it. And then, and here we got Sangria. Sangre. Oh, yeah. It's happening for sure. Boom. Bless you, Noah. Boom. Look at that. Locking up like champions. Sangria Sangre. Oh yeah, another beautiful- Are those eggs? No. So another awesome thing we're trying for this year that we've never done before is pairing our scrub pythons. They're not together right now, not even like in the same enclosure, but hoping for a clutch of, of scrub pythons this year. I'm 50-50 on it going. It's gonna be their, both their first time trying to What's go, but- What's your favorite snake we have here? Definitely the, the indigo snakes. Mines are probably the blood pythons. Yeah. Not the corn snakes? You really think I would like the corn snakes after all they've done to me? Where are you going with that chair, boy? To see if the rat's done. Okay. Ew. Here she comes. You 
you guys leave that comment about the joke yet? Last chance. Get her down there. How do you sell chicken to a deaf person? You wanna buy some chicken? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs>